Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider. More than just muscle. This is one of my first day in the life of Kevin Kreider. I had somebody ask me, what's a day like for me? I think it's quite boring. It's pretty repetitive and I'll go throughout the whole day. But let's go first things first, which is today I am at my co-working space and I'm doing a ketogenic diet. So I have my coffee right here. And what I'm going to do is, if you can see this, maybe you can't, but I'm going to put a half a stick of butter in my coffee right now. It's supposed to help blunt the appetite, and plus, the thing with the ketogenic diet is that you can actually have high fats. You're supposed to have about 80% fats into your diet. And this is the crazy part. Some people are like, oh my god. Like, I had this one crazy guy look at me. Well, I'm the crazy guy, actually. But this guy looked at me crazy, like, what are you doing with that butter? <laughs> and, you know, I didn't tell him I was doing the ketogenic diet, but at the end of that day, I'm, pro I'm gonna finish that whole stick of butter, actually. And the reason why you do that is so you're not just satisfied, but you get enough facts in the day, especially since I am still doing intermittent fasting. I'm gonna push my first meal back probably actually until probably 2.30 because I'm still, I'm gonna work out. Today's my first day back into the gym. I got up at 6 a.m., did my whole morning ritual, which takes about 40 minutes, walked out the door. Well, good morning. It is almost 7 a.m. and I'm going to the gym. I just cut myself shaving. The butter's almost melted. He's creamy. I went to just the local pharmacy because I cut myself shaving a little bit. So I'm gonna try this stipic pen because I've got a little cut right there. And instead of just letting it bleed, I thought I'd do something about it this time. And my 7 a.m. client reminded me about that actually. Hmm. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Moisten tip of pen with water, uh, but let's just figure out. This is just weird. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna moisten this tip. All right, I'm back. I hope I did this right. So I think it's just supposed to go. Hmm. Oh God, better. That stings. Okay, it feels better. Let me see what it looks like. So I think that's all you did. Anyway, enough of that. I have a package today as well. Got this in. Symptom and the subject. I'll tell you guys what's going on lately. I have not been working out at all for at least four weeks because of this rotator cuff and today is my first day going back into the gym and I have to say I don't understand how people don't exercise. I hate feeling this way. I hate feeling not at peak, at my peak performance, my peak level and I don't understand how you're walking around not feeling at your peak level too. That didn't come out the way I wanted to probably, but you understand that. Now that I have this peak level and I've lost it for a little bit, I want to get it back because I really, really don't like feeling this way. I don't like feeling less than my best or my best for the day. And I know that each day goes different, but I hate feeling this way when I know that most of it is probably just not exercising and moving a little bit. But the, getting to the new diet has been making me feel better, actually, which is the ironic part. It just makes me a little bit more agitated once in a while. 11.26, just doing my butter. Oh, man, gotta say no to all the samples on a keto diet. All right, it is almost 2 p.m. And I was, I am getting super 
agitated. This keto agitation, maybe it's because I'm combining it with intermittent fasting that's making it so difficult, but I was just starting to lose it. Definitely have to eat something before I go work out. I'm gonna have two cans of sardines and three to four tablespoons of almond butter. I'm just agitated. I need to get something in my body. I don't know if you can see that, but today it is at 83% fats, 14% proteins, and 3% carbs. It's not bad. This is what I had so far. Let's go work out. Not even really that hungry actually but as I was saying to somebody before when I bumped into them on the street I was telling them how this is a good diet because I'm obviously losing weight and I've been feeling good but the thing is even though you feel good I do have to say you're gonna find out who you don't like <laughs> because the people you don't like you are going to get extremely agitated with very quickly. And that's just my advice. My advice to you is to not hang out with people you really don't like. And maybe that's horrible advice, actually. Just be aware. I'm sorry. I think it's the keto diet. <laughs> I would be aware of the people you hang out with when you start to get a little bit of keto angry keto anger be aware of that guys what i have here is sauerkraut with ground beef 80 percent with four slices of cheese and six eggs um i put sauerkraut on it so i want some vegetables and i like the probiotics that are in sauerkraut I'll tell you the truth i don't think i'm not sure if intermittent fasting is really good for this and maybe that's why I get a little bit more agitated is the word. I get more agitated with this keto diet combining. It might be a lot of stressed hormones being released uh, too much at one time. I wouldn't recommend either doing intermittent fasting and keto diet. At the same time, if you've never done either, unless you got literally no friends and nothing to do, <laughs> which is very few people that I know, I wouldn't try to do keto and intermittent fasting at the same time. I, I believe it's gonna to be too intense for you. This is pretty intense for me right now. And I'm used to this stuff and I'm adjusted. And this is my life in a sense, you know, vlogging about this kind of stuff and sharing with you my experiences and to help you learn better and to make better decisions for yourself. That is the point of this channel too. So that's it for me guys. I'm literally gonna finish this meal I'm gonna call it a day. <clears throat> and you can see my fitness pal, it's, it's within the ratio that they recommend, which is around 80% fats. And then 20% is going to be a mixture of moderate protein and 20 grams or less of carbohydrates and try to keep it very under so you can be in a ketogenic state. Like, I don't even feel hungry. Like, I don't know if I can finish all this, but I probably will. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was really informative for you because I, I do enjoy, I really do enjoy making these for you. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm literally just going to listen to some more podcasts, and audiobooks, and just educate myself after I'm finished this, do some yoga. 
And I'll probably go to bed around 10 or 11 tonight, even though it's a Friday. And I hope this can help you with your lifestyle. I'm going to do this for at least 60 days. And my plan is to get blood work done afterwards to see what my blood work looks like. So if you find value with this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll just show that I should make more of this. You can also download the free intermittent fasting handbook. It's to fuel your muscle and strength, and it's the first step to fueling your muscle and strength and getting towards your goals for not just your body, but also your mind too, because it's an inside out, right? An inside out type of job. Can't do one without the other.